we have a chance to be the number one seed in our division, uh, you know, or move up. Right now we're rated third. I think if we beat Bosco, you could make an argument for us to be the number one seed. Just looking at comparative scores, who we played. Playing St. John Bosco, you know, number one, that they're going to get up and they're going to pressure you. They're going to make you try to turn the ball over. They're a good team. They're fast paced. They're a lot different than their team in the league. So we got to control the tempo. The thing that we have to work on, I think, the most is stopping the Hamilton brothers because they had 60 points combined between the two. Uh, and that's just unacceptable, you know. A big member of our team was missing last time. Gabe wasn't playing last time. Uh, they're going to have to worry about that. That's going to be an issue for them. Um, and, and it's going to be fun to see how they match up with us and then what Gabe can bring to the table to help us uh, neutralize those two guys, uh, the, the, the Hamilton brothers as well. Big picture, playoff-wise, you know, it'd be nice to be third, nice to have a high, higher ranking than third to get into that, uh, you know, into the bracket. And for the seniors, this is their last game. Uh, this is the last time, you know, not the last time we're going to play here in this gym because hopefully we're playing a few playoff games here, uh, but last league game here in this gym for the seniors. After the JV game, uh, we'll have the families come up. We introduce the kids and their families. One of them is a basketball player. He's been a manager and our announcer for a long time, Christian Hilton. He does everything that he can to help our boys get as hyped as they can before, during a game. I mean, it was cool to be recognized by, and I got to walk up with my family, that kind of stuff, because I've really become one of the guys. Obviously, I'm not the guy on the hardwood floor, I'm the guy sitting behind the bench. I got goosebumps when I heard him introduce the team tonight. He has fallen in love with that job, and um, in fact, he wants, to, he wants to do something like that in the future. We walked out and I just heard the crowd cheering really loud when they called my name and just to hear them talking about me and me standing next to the two people I love the most in this world, it just meant a lot to me and it was just a great moment all around. We're all excited for him, very proud of Cameron, what he's done on and off the court. Being represented as a senior and going through the program at four years and Miss Paul talking about us, um, it was really fun because uh, she shows all our accolades and all the stuff that we've done here. Four years passed, they go by so quick, but then you also look at certain things and like the growth of our team, the growth of you as an individual, the maturity level that you get. You know, I, can, I, I don't think I can tell you a time when my grandparents or my mom have ever missed any one of my games. Tonight is really special, it's his last home game. Um, I know he's got amazing things ahead in his future. I'm just really proud of who he is as a person outside of the basketball. I mean, all the seniors I'm going to miss very much. Uh, having to leave off and go to college, you know, it, it's going to be a good feeling. And I know they want to go out with a bang, and I know that Bosco is ready for us. Uh, you know, they got us up at their place, but we're ready to get them here at our place. We came out strong, playing, um, playing hard, came out with the hustle. Uh, we we kind of did a couple things that weren't so well, like letting uh, Isaac and Daniel Hamilton just drive and backdoor on us, um, and, and we weren't boxing out. It, it comes down to the little things. It's not necessarily the big things, the guy hitting the big shot. I mean, we had multiple chances. All of us hustled at the end. We thought we were gonna have a comeback, pull it out, but um, things just weren't, just didn't fall for us tonight. And uh, it was a tough loss, very tough loss. We, we have to play J J Sarah tomorrow at Irvine Valley College because we we have to, uh, if you get third place, then you get automatic bid to the playoffs. J Sarah game is basically set up for us to fight for third place, and that depend, and for us to do that, if we win, we get the automatic bid. If we lose, it's up to CIF whether or not they're going to get us in. It's just kind of a shocker for the kids, but well, I think now it's, in order to do or die, we're going to see what they're made of. 
it's a really tough thing to have to play back to back, and, and especially when you know you're not necessarily mentally prepared for it. I think. We played a lot more, you know, a few more guys tonight. I think we really tried to manage minutes a little bit because everybody was pretty fatigued. Yeah, we played three, uh, two games last week, one on Saturday, then we both played Tuesday, Thursday, and tonight. Peyton, I thought early in the game, was really good. I thought Peyton did a great job early. Coming out um, late third, early fourth, you know, we were able to turn up the pressure a little bit defensively. Um, Gabe got freed a little bit, Gabe York got freed a little bit. Um, you know, Gabe got up to a slow start, but he, he came out firing in the second half. Um, guys off the bench, Rogers, Cameron, everybody, Drake, they all came out and played their game and I'm really proud of them. Uh, it was a great way to finish our season, you know, we didn't want to be in that position anyway, but you know, we had to come out and take care of business. Still need to show everybody that we could still win that Serie A title back to back. There's some good teams in our division. We can't, it's not a cakewalk, so we just need to come out and um, get after it. We're going to have to play better than we played throughout the season to, to win it. Um, but but I, I, I look forward to it a little bit. We need some days off. We need to kind of relax and then get you know strapping on and get going for next week.